Okay, today I'm going to show you how to add a max diff question. Uh, max diff stands for maximum difference scaling. I'm going to go ahead and log in to my Survey Analytics account. I'm going to create a new survey, new survey from scratch. And this survey is going to be about cookies. I pick the uh, default winter theme. And now I can start adding questions. Uh, max diff is under the add-on modules. You see uh, conjoint mad max diff. And here's where we add uh, the question. Um, basically, max diff is used uh, to reduce the respondent burden when you have a long number of attributes that you want to decide among. Uh, you want people to rate the importance. Um, long sets of, of uh, rating scales. Uh, tend to produce high results and undifferentiated results. Um, so here's my question about cookies uh, when deciding which cookies to purchase. Which of the factors shown here is the most and least important? And I came up with uh, 12 attributes that uh, people are going to be presented with. Now what's nice is that you can limit the number of attributes that each individual respondent is, but the question will statistically make sure that all of the different uh, factors are compared against each other. I'm also going to just tweak the wording. Um, the most preferred, I'm just going to say uh, uh, most important. And I like it to say least important. So the respondent knows exactly what uh, they are being asked to do. So now I'm going to save this question. And here's a preview of the question. Now, the other thing um, that, that you should know is that you can, uh, you can uh, go into settings. I just hit edit and then settings. Uh, first thing is you can require that the uh, respondent not skip over the answer by clicking uh, validation. Um, I choose to randomize the answer options. If you don't click that, they'll be presented in the order that, that you uh, put them in in the question. And importantly, you can set the maximum number of attributes that an individual respondent will see. And in this case, I'm going to say four. Um, so in that case, and you see that it says here that it's randomized and that there's uh, four respondents. Now, this is a list of all the attributes, but I'll show you when I do a preview of the question. And sure enough, just four. And they ask, uh, which is the most important? I'm going to say flavor. And least important, I'm going to say texture. Continue. And that's all I'm asked as an individual respondent. And I'll be right back to show you the results with more data. Okay, now I've gone through the survey a number of times to put in some data uh, to show you the reporting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Analytics. I'm going to click on Max Diff Analysis. And you see you have a couple of things here. You have the share of preference for each of the attributes. And then for each of the individual attributes, you have the proportion that shows it as the most and as the least important. You can also export this data into Excel right here. And that's it for Max Diff. Enjoy!